Tonight, lawmakers meeting threats uh, of Bay Area immigration raids with legal resistance. KPI X5's Kristen Ayers on the new laws protecting employers. Tonight, Bay Area cities like Berkeley are bracing for the possibility of sweeping ICE raids and warning employers that if raids happen, they have rights. ICE will not confirm whether we're going to be targeted, but they certainly have been uh, beating their chest a lot and they're certainly using great intimidation tactics. The talk from Washington has been tough. Threats to deport roughly 15,000 people. California better hold on tight. They're, they're about to see a lot more special agents. So State Senator Nancy Skinner says the Bay Area is bracing for the worst. This morning, her office met with representatives from Attorney General Javier Becerra's office to talk about what to do. The real message is just that understanding that there there are limitations, even on ICE. Those limitations outlined in two new immigration laws, which establish California as a sanctuary state, give employers 72 hours to provide workplace data to ICE officers, and prohibit raids on private property without a warrant. You don't have to let ICE on your pre premises. Even schools are preparing. Berkeley Unified sent a letter today urging people fearful of raids to have a family preparedness plan. The letter said many of our teachers and staff are planning to be trained as volunteer legal observers to help vulnerable students. But ultimately, Skinner said even cities that are called sanctuaries are at the mercy of the federal government. We cannot stop ICE enforcement. If ICE decides that it's going to really come in force into our communities, they will. But at least we'll know what rights we have to push back. In Berkeley, Kristen Ayers, KPIX 5.